Hey everybody, it's Nicola Nintendo here and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Last time we just completed the Temple of Fire, so now we're going to head back and talk to Astrid. And just completely ignore all those tech types, because you know, I can. So yeah, let's go talk to Astrid. And Limebex here. Cool. Well done, you defeated the power of darkness, Link. Thus you've broken the seal that imprisoned the spirit. You need to move ahead. Ultimately, you will need three spirits, power, wisdom, and courage. When you have all three, you will possess the power to find the ghost ship. Now two spirits remain, but their locations are veiled to me at present. I see another clue for you to find in the Temple of the Ocean King on Marseille, and so it begins. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, sorry about the cut there, my cat decided that she wanted to be here for the recording, so... Hopefully she'll stay quiet. Wow, that was brilliant. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, and to further your efforts, I give you this. May it help you in battle. And we get a power gem. It radiates power, but you can't use it like this. Store it on the collection screen for now. I'm gonna have to go kick my cat out. Hang on, BRB. <laughs> Alright. That's a spirit gem. There are many for each spirit. Find as many as you can. I see that somewhere on the seas you can raise a spirit's power for 10 gems. The light that seeks your aid grows weaker still. There's no time to lose. Alright. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so we're heading back to Mercy Island, I suppose. There's nothing more for us to do here. So let's set sail. Hmm. All right, let's go. Okay, well, I think we would we just want to head straight back to Marseille because there's nothing else that I want to do right now. So yeah, let's set sail, say goodbye to the Isle of Ember, and yeah, sailing. Woo! I guess I could take this sailing time uh, to say, it'd be something I want to ask you lot, the viewers. Um, I'm just really curious, <clears throat> excuse me, as to how many of you have actually played this game or sort of at least picked up and tried it because I mean sort of I mean the last game I, bit I did was Mutant Muds also that frog will be very important later on but for now <clears throat> excuse me again I have a cough hang on <coughs> yeah. anyway yeah I was just wondering how many of you actually play this game because you know Phantom Hourglass and Mutant Muds well Mutant Muds in particular is a sort of game that I suppose not many of you would have played and I guess Phantom Hourglass is sort of one of those games as well that is a little bit odd or not as good as the rest maybe but you know I just want to know how many of you have tried it and not liked it or beaten it or just anything like that so just out of curiosity just for my sake um, but anyways now we're here back at Mercy Island we can go into um, the shipyard, and if you open this chest, you can get a random ship part. So there you go. That does not look very pleasant. So we can speak to this guy, and we can customize our ship if we want, or view it. You can see the SS Linebeck in all its glory, uh, or you can add parts on if you want. What did we get? We got another hull, didn't we? Maybe not. Uh, come on, we got something. Well, we got the handrail. There we go. So yeah, you can change it if you want, but I don't really want to. <laughs> Made from monstrous horns. Actually, not a handrail at all. Wow. Yeah, that's that's helpful. Really, really helpful. Oh dear. Okay. See ya. Alright then. Oh hey, it's that one guy. The shipyard's open if you have ship parks, take them in there. Um... 
Yes? <laughs> oh, right, okay. We know that already. I don't think this place will be open yet, is it? No, opening soon, okay. That's where you can go to sell your treasures and stuff that you've picked up, but we don't really need to do that yet. We don't really have a need to make money or to get money, so we're, we're okay for now, but for later, that'll be quite useful. This bloody crow, get out of my way. Alrighty, so here we are. Get used to this place. We are back at the Temple of the Ocean King. Uh-oh, it's doing that thing where it puts it in red text again. Okay. Strategy A. <laughs> Wise words from Limebeck. Socius, hooray. I'm impressed you managed to free the spirit of power. You are strong. Even if you follow the ghost ship, you'll be fine. Link. Get up on that altar. Whoa, what? Why? Oh, goodness. <laughs> How does that old man just appear out of nowhere like that? Yeah, I know, it's a little bit weird. Uh, we'll just... Oh, come on, Link. Now... <laughs> Jeez. Uh huh. Got the phantom hourglass! Oh, that cutscene's so good. It's a mysterious hourglass filled with golden sand. You now hold the legendary phantom hourglass, Link. As long as you carry it, the temple cannot drain the life from you. Yay! That's good! That's awesome! Amazing! Ahem. However. Uh-oh. You are only safe as long as sand remains in the top part of the hourglass. When all the sand is drained to the bottom, your life too will be drained. <laughs> it's an hourglass, can't you just flip it over again? Good point, good point. No. Once the sand of ours is drained, its power is lost. It needs the light of the sun to restore its mystical power. So we have to go outside. Uh-huh. Sand inside the phantom hourglass is called the sand of ours. The beast you defeated in the Temple of Fire had some grains of it. It is said to be made of forest gems of the great spirit, the Ocean King. It gives deep strength to whoever holds its power. From now on, you must defeat monsters and collect their sand of hours. For the more sand you place in the hourglass, the longer its power will last. The sea chart we found in the temple showed where to find the captured spirit. If that's the case, then the location of the other two spirits. Hmm. I see a pattern forming. I bet there's another clue hidden somewhere in this temple, I just know it. I won't stop you, Link. Dive deeper into this mystery, but keep the phantom hourglass in hand. Alright, cool. We must hurry. Yeah, okay. So we can just jump down here and head in to the temple. And we're going to be seeing that animation a lot. <laughs> okay, so here we are again. Except we have 10 minutes on the clock. Oh, here's Leaf. Hello, Leaf. This is how long the Phantom Hourglass will protect you from the curse. Find the next clue to the ghost ship before the sand runs out, then escape. 
That's it. Without the sand, it'll start to suck the life out of you. Remember to keep an eye on the time you got left. Okay, it's pretty simple. This is the door of power. I use my strengths to open it. Tap the door and let's go even deeper into the temple. Alrighty. Huh. And down we go. It's an enemy! Oh god. The evil that cursed this temple made these monsters. Phantoms are very dangerous enemies. Oh my god, they are, and they're terrifying too. Ugh. Their armour is nearly impenetrable and they strike very hard. All you can do is sneak by the phantoms so they don't see you. Yeah, so basically you have to look for where they are on the map, see which direction they're facing, and sneak past them. And if they see you, it is terrifying. <laughs> I'll show you what happens but oh my god the first time I just like jumped right in my skin. It was so scary. <laughs> uh, I mean I'm a bit of a, a wimp but it really did scare me. Uh, anyways so when you're out of the the safe zone your timer will be counting down so um let's head over talk to this guy. Lighting the torches should open the way. How am I supposed to light two of them? Ah, well we've done that with the boomerang, so now that we have that we should be okay. But there's a little switch up here, which will light one of the torches. And it is on a timer, so you better hurry over there. Just watch out for the phantoms and you'll be okay. So light the two torches, and we'll remove this fire. I'll, um, I'll get this guy to see me in a second here. Oh, I'm so scared! I really don't like this. This genuinely makes me nervous. Right. Ha! Oh! E QB spotted! Quick run to a safe zone! <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> oh! Okay, and that's made him go the other way, which is great. So we can head up here. Here's another dude. Break a red pot to spill its magical contents on the floor. Okay, so this is basically like a temporary safe zone. So if you stand in this little circle, you'll be invisible. And the phantom's coming back, oh no! <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> oh, this is so scary. I mean, it's not, but it is. There's just this tension. So anyways, let's grab ourselves a small key. And uh, head, head down. Oh, it's so scary! Ah! <laughs> Can I make it? Ha! Oh, goodness me. Alright, keep running. Ugh. And they're like shouting on this top screen like, I have you now, brah, in big red text. It's terrifying. Oh. Anyways, we kind of need to like go where this phantom's going, so hopefully they'll go up the way. Please? Right, good. So we can run around here and unlock this door that's up here. And boom. Down we go. Okay. So we have another phantom over there who's not looking at us. Thank goodness. So um... But the phantoms actually react to noise, so if I hit this switch he's gonna come running and he saw me. Craptastic. Right, let's hit the second switch. And that will get a key to pop out. We can also pull this while he's away from the his guard post thing. Oh no, he's coming this way. It's alright. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha Okay. Right. <laughs> okay, we have a, a switch here. Jeez, I almost didn't see that and I was like, wait a second. I can get through here, right? Ugh. You gonna come this way? Of course you are, because you're a pain in the arse. You can also hit these guys with your boomerang to like confuse them, but that's probably not a good idea. You probably shouldn't taunt the big scary thing with the sword that can kill you. So let's just creep up behind him. <laughs> oh, this is so nerve-wracking. Do 
And we have one of these pots over here, but remember, this will make a noise, so it will, like, distract him over. So run in there fast. You should be okay. Oh my god, he's right next to me. Ugh. Let's just wait for him to go past. This can be a bit monotonous. Uh. <sighs> but get used to it, because we'll be visiting this temple multiple times, so... And what makes it so bad is that you have to go through every level repeatedly. I mean, it's different because when you get different items, for example, this wall is vulnerable, so you can get a shortcut through here. But you still have to do the same sections of the temple over and over again. And that can be a bit tedious. Yeah, okay. Hopefully he won't hear this, okay good. So now we can open this door, I guess, and head even further down into the temple. And we are almost there, actually. Just one more room. The clue to the ghost ship rests on this floor, it's just a little further. Okay, so we'll head up here first. Hello there. Huh. Yeah, this guy's talking about these pots which contain time. Which is, you know, a good thing. So, over here we can get a force gem. You got a triangle. Yeah, wonderful. You need the power of force gems to open a door and delve deeper. AKA, put them in these pedestals. So we have to get three of them and then take them over here. Like with the boss key, we have to carry it above our heads. And we... We need to do it without the phantom seeing us, so yeah. And if you drop a- if the phantom actually gets you, he will end up picking up the force gem. Like how that other phantom on the top screen has a key next to him, he's actually holding a key. So you can actually hit him with your boomerang, I believe, or cause him to fall into a hole and he'll drop whatever he's holding. So there's ways around it. So let's place this first gem in the pedestal. And get to work finding some other ones. Um, hello there. Yeah, well I've just told you. Were you not listening? Please, I'm trying to roll. Oh well. Pull this we can get up onto this high ledge here and this phantom is totally gonna see us. But I think I should maybe be able to sneak in. Oh no, I'm dizzy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh sugar plum fairies. Oh! Oh god! Oh god. Okay, he lost me. Good. Right. Oh, man. Those take away a huge, like, one heart. Okay, I'm gonna go up here. Now there's these two switches which actually open up holes in the floor. So to get rid of one of these phantoms, bye-bye. <laughs> it's absolutely great. Um, the other one's over here. But yeah. Uh, we have a force gem here. And I wonder if we can pick up the key while holding a force gem. I am interested. Oh, okay, that's really weird. <laughs> oh, and I dropped it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, there's actually a way to turn off this those spikes. I just didn't bother doing it the first time. Um, but yes, here's our second one. Um, and we can use the boomerang to hit this and that will turn them off so yep no more being spiked up the behind for Link because that's not a good thing nobody wants that so um, with only two hearts remaining because I'm being clumsy we can get our last force gem no 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 and head over to the door the, the door the the pedestals yeah I don't know if that's any faster I'll just walk like a boss, casually, and place the last force gem in its place. And down we go. Ha, huh, it's another door. This door just won't open for us. The design is different from the last door. Maybe we need another spirit's help. Maybe we do. Oh wait, there's no fog in this room. Look, the hourglass has stopped and your life force isn't being drained. This place isn't cursed yet, I think we can finally relax. 
Yes, I think we can. Some more time. Even though we don't actually need it, but still. And here we have our Northwestern Sea Chart. Our second Sea Chart. Hooray! Progress. Now, now you can explore a new area of the sea. Got another Sea Chart, but it looks different from the last one. Maybe now we can explore new areas of the sea. Let's show Lime back. Okay. Well, I think we'll actually go and show Linebeck next time because uh, we're this is probably a bit of a long video. So um, yeah, next time on Phantom Hourglass, we'll go take the map by, back to Linebeck and maybe explore some new areas of the sea and do some more stuff. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next video.